Oh yeah, the, the uh, Shafari in the interview saying that marriage makes things too serious. Okay, so that's the topic. Does marriage make things too serious, or what do you? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Let's um, do it. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play the clip, or do you want me to um? Do you guys have a clip? Yeah, we got a clip. Yeah, it's, in the it's about a minute. You want to like chop it in half? Yeah, we could do that. Right, cool. You want to play it? I'll... Play the clip. Hold up. Let me see where it's at. Oh, wow. Well. It does. I feel like when you get to live as, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, <laughs> like, grown man, real talk. I know it, it may sound childish and immature, but it's like marriage, I just feel like it just makes everything just way more serious than what it needs to be. Everything. Going to the supermarket. Going to take out the garbage, just everything is way more serious. And I know there's some people who are like, oh, I've been married for 20, 30 years, and this, that, and the third. Like, all right, cool, that's great, that's y'all. We live in a different era now. <clears throat> and especially with this era of social media yeah. and, and, and people letting it really, like, affect what they do on the daily. They're like, it's, it's, it's not the same as, especially being in the public eye. You know, there's people like, yeah, I've been married for 20, 30 years, but yeah, y'all, everybody ain't in y'all business. So, I'm going to ask you gentlemen around the room. Well, not in the room. Well, in the room, yes. Do you (laughs) think marriage makes things more serious or too serious? Start with the married man first. Mr. Willa, talk to me. Uh... I do think that marriage makes things more serious. Or yeah. Too serious. But too, yeah. what about the word too? More and two or two it changes the dynamic. So no, does it make it fact, too serious? It's a fact. So does it make it too serious? I personally feel like it does make things too serious. Mm. But, okay. But on the flip side, in that same token, it is serious. You know what I'm saying so. Okay, because you're I, married. Yeah, yeah, it, it it does make it serious, but yeah. I do I do hate the fact like I'm torn because I I definitely can recognize that this is serious. This is, this is not like oh it's a boyfriend girlfriend thing. This is it, it is serious, right? Or if it's a social constraint you put on it or biblical, however you want to take it, I feel like it it does make it serious. It is serious. Mm. What I hate is that. It can be too serious because you're married, mm. right? It's like I, if you're the the normal playful individual before, and then you're the same normal playful individual after, right? Nothing should change, right? But if it, changes, it but it changes because now the that the title of the marriage is on it, right? I get it, and that that's that's my. I guess that's I'm, I'm on both sides. I don't know. I'm on the fence. No, I get it. Dan, um, talk to me. What you think? I mean, obviously, I've never been married, um, but but I do recognize that like um, whenever you do like relationship type of stuff, for some reason, everything tends to change, and it's the weirdest thing. It's yeah. like I'm like you say, I'm I'm a funny, goofy, laughy guy, and we be like this all the time. It's like now you're my girlfriend or my woman or something, and then all of a sudden. That ain't funny no more, cause you my girl. Like, it's like what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like why? Why does? Why that's not funny no more? I don't understand. Right. You know. So, but if um, I was married, I don't know. That I agree with y'all. Want to give? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I agree with y'all, but maybe I have a different opinion on it because I look at it even before marriage, you have to become boyfriend and girlfriend, right? And I don't know. Maybe you guys can agree with <laughs> Do it. Do you? <laughs> Hey, some people could jump. You could jump straight to the shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, a lot of times when you, we're married. You know what I'm saying? But use coworkers today. This is my fiance. (laughs) Okay, but um, a lot of times when you're dating someone, you you like them. You're just doing whatever it is you're doing because you want to do it. But then the moment you become connected with an individual. 
it be, it doesn't it's not something that you want to do so anymore. It's something that you have to do. A lot of times okay. when it comes on to relationships, and I feel like when it comes up, especially with marriage, yeah. now it's okay. No, you have to do this. this is, I'm not. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm telling you, you have to do this. Why? Because we are married. You have, this is an obligation you have to me because we are married. Instead of it being something that, hey, I'm doing this because I just want to do it. And I think that's what the stipulation that, and what he was trying to say that puts on relationships a lot of times. People, men or women, men and women, they pressure each other to make it seem like you have to do something once you're married. Once I'm married, cool, I have to give you this. I have to do that. it. I have to tell I you this. It. I have to tell you that. And it's like 30 second time out. Granted, yes, we are married, but why does it change the dynamic of it just being something that I want to do? Right. I get that. And then when you, because we all know I'm hard headed, you hard, and the both of y'all are hard headed. You tell me I have to do something. I'm going to be like, why? I don't want to do shit. Now I don't want to do nothing. Now I don't want to do it. Don't tell me to do shit. I don't want to do it. So, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you got to call me. You got to call me when you outside late. I don't have to call nobody but be myself or my mama. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's, it's some childish shit, but I get it. And no, it is. And I, and I, and I don't want to make it seem like it's not. Well, not. well, all right. So, so Jay, you be feeling like, all right. So, example, just a crazy one. Like, if you go like, to the grocery store, are you feeling like, man, I'm just getting food for the house? Or do you feel like I'm getting food for my wife? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, does that... Feel different, and I'm not. I'm not. Just, I'm just saying. Oh, like, I'm gonna go even further. Anytime you go to get something to eat, right? You go to get something to eat, or you go to the store and buy some sneakers, some kicks for yourself, right? Do you feel like you have to now make sure you at least attempt to buy her something, <laughs> or can you just walk in the crib and not even say nothing to sis? with a bag of sneakers? Like, yeah, you know, I got some shits. These shits is fine. You see my Jays? These I'm shits is lit. Say- no, no, I was just gonna say you gotta be like, well, baby, I tried. Okay, I tried. Yeah, you know I'm saying, right. like, can you just walk <laughs> it without saying you tried, or you gotta at okay. least be like, yo, babe, I asked your size and they ain't have it. I, I would tell you this: if you walk into that house with a bag full of shit for yourself, <laughs> and don't have at least a little, <laughs> a little bit, sneakers, bro. Nah, nigga. That is a war, bro. It's over. It's over. This is my point. That it it's changes over. shit. Before, but before, if you'd have walked in the crib with some sneakers, she'd be like, "Oh, okay, you went shop. You went. You was fly. I'm saying, oh, you look lit, baby. Now you walk in the crib. Yeah, that's, that's funny. If you, if you, bro, I, but I don't know that stuff. Cause I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.